Now, the city of Big Fork is welcoming its first ever one-act play festival. The festival includes a variety of plays directed by four different directors from the community. Reporter Zariah Simmons had the opportunity to catch a glance behind the scenes for this week's In Focus. Big Fork welcomed its first one-act play festival. The festival featured four short plays, The Ever After, Flora's Monologue, Jerry Girls, and Waiting for the End of the World. Each is directed by a different community member under the guidance of artistic director Patricia Field. community wasn't ready for our plays to be done, and so Patty agreed to help teach new people how to direct plays since she won't be with us forever and so that we can com keep community theater alive in Big Fork. So the one act plays were conceived as a way to teach multiple people how to direct short little shows, um, a variety of different ones. We've got the comedy, the satire, the musical, so it's a really good mix for the, the community to enjoy. Um, typically when you would come to a theater, you just see one genre or one type of play, but with the festival of one acts, you get a bunch of different varieties all in the same evening. The festival has brought a variety of actors and actresses of all ages and different backgrounds to provide a show for the community. We involve all kinds of ages. We have children that are six and then we have actors who are 60 plus and so we get to invite everybody. A lot of times when you do a play you either have kind of an older cast or a younger cast and maybe a little bit of a mix but this is a full-fledged mix of ages. In addition to involving people of all ages, this event also provides an opportunity for families to participate together. You know, it's a lot of fun. My son, um, Dominic, is in the musical, the one that Pete is directing. And so for him and I to be able to do this together, it's exciting. During some of the practices, some actors and actresses form friendships while working on the plays. Um, I just was really excited because like, I really like working with people and I love the how like much fun we have and I love coming in and seeing everybody all the time. So I really like that part of it. We just have a lot of fun together, I feel like. Everybody is just like excited to be there. We're happy to be there. I like it because I get to hang out with my cousin and my best friend, Abby. And because I met Annalise, I mean, I knew she worked there, but she's actually really fun to hang out with, and she's really sweet. Reporting in Big Fork with this week's In Focus, I'm Zariah Simmons, Lakeland News. Festival One Act started with a performance tonight, and they continue with performances tomorrow at 6.30 and Sunday at 2 p.m. at the Edge Center for the Arts in Big Fork. One more. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.